Welcome to Learn Elementor with JP. And in this video, we'll be looking at the download button that you get when you use JIT elements from Croco Blocks. I'm pretty sure you have an idea of what the download button is about and for. It's when you have something that you want people to download. It can be a PDF document or any other kind of image, and you want people to be able to download it to read more about your business, a brochure, a portfolio, or if you have a restaurant, it could be their menu. And this makes the download button really convenient to have people get that. Here's a very good example of a menu for a restaurant. These buttons are similar to the button element that comes with Jet Elements, so you can see all of the functions that you have in terms of hover and gradients they are also available here in the download button element. Let's see how that works. If I want to have a download button for each of my team members, from the inspector on the left, let's grab the download button from Jet Elements and we drop it there. We begin with download ID and we get the ID of the media from the media library. So I go there and this is the document that I want to add. Click on it. And to get the ID up here where the URL appears, these four numbers, that is your ID. So copy that or just remember 1120. Let's go back to our ID and let's paste it. Control Command V. And now you can see it has updated to 340 kilobytes. It has already drawn in the information of this document. Here you can say download link text. So we can say download portfolio. Nice to see how the button automatically expands to add the extra text in. Then you have the download link subtext, which is this size. You can remove it if you don't want to have that displayed. Or, of course, you just add it back by percentage, size, percentage. Yes, you add no follow request and then download link icon. We will look here for a download button to give that visual confirmation that this is what this button is all about. And styling is nothing special. Here you have it to the left, your center, to the right, and then justified, which gives you the full width of the container. I like this, but let's put it on center. You also have text alignment, and then icon size, and download link icon can be left to the right, and then similar to what we have from the button from Jet Elements, you can add it also to the top and then to the bottom. And in this case, if you put it there, I'll put also all my text on center alignment. You have your control over the button. This gives you a normal and hover state. If I want to apply a gradient again here, I can do so. And then for the hover effect, I can also apply a different gradient. You have the same controls for your gradient. And then as you scroll down, you will see button color, button label, and your button sub label colors, as well as padding. And that very easy download button. Let's see though, if it works, save our work control command S and we preview it on the front end with this very, very shiny and funky button that we have here to download the portfolio. Click on Download Portfolio, and there we go. Let's open our file and click on PDF Download. And there we go. File successfully downloaded. For more on Jet Elements from CrocoBlock, follow the link in the description below. From EJB, go well and stay safe.